Okay, today's October 11th. This is our friend. We're going to change his name to protect his innocence. I'm calling him Smelly. Uh, he, we're going to do our version of a safer test. We had this dog here for a week, and we're going to see all his evil things. He's got idiosyncrasies. We all have idiosyncrasies. His hackles come up when he sees something he's not familiar with. Uh, I think he was astray. Uh, hi, 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 hi. Ah! So he was supposedly afraid of men or something, and I don't know. And this is not, we live in the moment, not the past, not the future. Here we are with another doggy from, where did he come from? Brookhaven, Brookhaven. Shelter. Bad, bad doggy, killer dog. He fights and attacks people. Not really, of course. So we're playing here. We're playing with dogs. Uh, we're fortunate enough here to play with dogs. We don't stress too much about them. We want to get in their head. So we're going to walk outside and... Again, I we don't do it work with these dogs. We understand the dog. We get in good doggy, ah, yeah, yeah. We get into the dog's head. So I don't want to be too long-winded, but I do want to talk about our temperament test, our personality evaluations, compared to other formal, documented, safer tests where we have A, B, Cs, and Ds because the dog doesn't like a hand on a stick or a baby. So we're going to see what this dog likes. Yeah. Yeah! Hi, baby. Hi, man. Okay, he. this is a spirit. This is a living spirit on Earth. Here for our pleasure. Cut, we'll go outside. Okay, this is our uh, Houndstown's version of a temperament evaluation. We have all our scary devices prodding. And for anybody to think that a dog thinks this is a real hand, and it's not attached to a weapon that the dog don't understand. Because watch, here, hi baby. Here's my hand, human hand. Here's my fake hand. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Here, let's go, human hand, fake hand on a stick. And the same thing, noose, if I come after you with this, I think you would run. Go chase a five-year-old in a schoolyard with one of these and see. And if they growl, let's put them down. And I'm not making fun. All these dogs have potentials of biting because that's their mechanism. That's the only mechanism. I know I can't look too serious like this, but this is what I want to be. Hi. Uh, what's it? Smelly. Come, Smelly. Happy. Oh, I didn't know you were so See, I assume some people were here, but... No. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Smelly. Good. So he's a free-roaming dog. At some point, we'll put our... There's food. Hi, Smelly. Good dog. Good dog. Smelly. Good. Good dog. Good. So here I am with our new dog, Smelly. Um, let's see how he reacts. Wee! <laughs> Fake hand, news, he's nervous. He should be. I just touched his private parts with a stick. I put that down. Let's see how he is with the man in the with the rubber glove. When somebody comes at me with a rubber glove, boy, I go the other way. So here we are. In the field. Here's food. Wanna bite me over this? Here. This is our safer test. What shall I do here about this? And I'm being silly for a reason. Here's my man. Let me go get my fake can. Holy shit. Same thing for Gavin. These are two shelter dogs. Okay. Um, did somebody just go in the lobby? You can let him go. We're going to cut for a minute. Oh, yeah, man. So here's our dogs, our shelter animals. Smelly and what's it, Gavin. They both have histories of bad behavior. I guess they were assessed as bad behavior. Um, and we're out in our field here. And I'm playing around and I don't want to mimic anybody. I know I'm just having fun. I really am having fun because that's what I want to do with these animals. And I really want to know what's, what's their problem. <laughs> Where is the danger here? I'm not saying they don't have a potential. Every dog everywhere, your pet at home, under the right circumstances can become aggressive. They have one mechanism, their mouth. They can't hire lawyers, they can't run away because they're hostage in your home. My dog's my hostage. They don't have free will. We've taken their free will away. Hi, baby. So here's Smelly. Smelly, babe. Hi. So he's afraid of this glove on the stick. 
So is he afraid of gloves? Is he afraid? I'm trying to be as wacky as I can. I'm not holding back here. I don't have to work too hard. There's Gavin. I'm going to take this leash off now. Good baby. Good doggy. Good baby. He's free to go. I'm going to get my little Gavin. Here's our food. He just can't have it because it's my food. So I set boundaries. We're going to edit this, but I just want people to understand. Everything is valid, but this is my version of testing a dog. What am I going to give him? I'll give him an A for animal aggression or animal friendliness. I'm going to give him an A for human. Ha! I can't get his hackles up. I'll give him an A for food possession. There's food there I don't allow him to have. Good treats, Halloween treats. See, he, maybe he don't like Halloween treats. Come on in. Here comes another strange person, a stranger. Let's see if she gets attacked. And I'm not making fun. This is my, my examination is as valid as anyone else's. I don't care if Dr. Spock wrote the safer the protocol. This is my protocol. Unfortunately, I'm a high school dropout, so my version may not be as good as the safer report. And I'm not making fun of it. I'm saying this is a misdiagnosed animal. Can he bite somebody? Of course. Can you come back and show me next year if he's not managed correctly that he bit a child, bit somebody? Yeah, if you don't set boundaries, Good guys, when you can't get, take the leash off of, him, of your dog. So they're playing, can they fight? Can kids fight in the playground? If a kid gets a black eye playing judo. Do we put them to sleep? If they get into a fight now, okay, their dog's playing. And the only thing they have, they don't have opposable thumbs, they have teeth. And when they have a conflict, they use their mouth. She just gave him a treat. He's not begging, harassing. Maybe he will. Let's put it down on the ground. Leave it. Hey. Get lost. This is my treat. This isn't his. Was that so difficult? Was that dangerous? No. All right. I think we said enough. I really am doing this not for my ego, not because of someone else's ego, not my knowledge. I'm doing it for Smelly. And if we didn't do this for Smelly, we've saved about this year eight death row dogs that were poorly misdiagnosed. One's playing with a cat in Brooklyn. Another one is, I don't even know where they go. They live in the Viva Loca. And they were diagnosed. And everybody, I can miss this too. I can make a mistake. I'm not infallible. But in these cases, these dogs were misunderstood. Here, look, I'm giving them a treat. Oh, I'm taking it away. Giving them the treat. Taking it away. I still have all five fingers. Oh, he thinks by sitting, I'm gonna give him the treat. Okay, babe, bite my hand? No, gentle as a lamb. Is this dog fighting? Okay, I've said more than enough. I'm saying this silly, because I don't want to get aggravated, I don't want to get sad at the fact that some of these dogs are getting put down and they're spirits. This is a spirit. This dog, anybody needs a therapy dog? Come here, come here you. Anybody need a therapy dog? Here he is, smelly. Smelly the therapy dog. Hi, baby. Where's the, I don't think that's ridiculous, right? This is absolutely insane. Here's my food. Oh, high five, Smelly. Yeah, we spent a lot of time teaching that behavior. Uh, yeah. Somebody did, right, Smelly? Look, this hand, man. Oh, how sad. Look at his eyes. All right, this is a joke. I'm a joke. We live in the world of jokes. I love Raffy. Oh, Smelly. Who's here forever? Where, yeah, man. Where's he? <laughs> Where is this? Come on, let's get more silly. Come on, guys. Let's get more ridiculous. Here, Gavin. Gavin is more normal than all of us. <laughs> Gavin's like, I ain't getting into this. This is these two. Are smelly and Smelly and Mikey Bones are crazy. And yeah, because the world is crazy. Wee! Oh my God. All right. Listen. Can we just say peace out to everyone? The, the pit bull, Camille, is the pit bull growling at me? He's gonna get me. Oh, haha. -ha. Look at Rafi. 
Uh, and this is how I'm just, I'm just beside myself in joy. This dog is not going anywhere except to a loving home to be part of a, somebody's spiritual life. He's not going to dog heaven under any circumstance. Sicker, get her, <laughs> get her, Smelly. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! All right, cut, honey. That was great. But oh, wait, if there's anybody out there in need of a therapy dog that wants to find a spiritual connection to the third dimension, here's Smelly. This dog's already providing some kind of comfort. Smelly's available. Therapy dog. How much? Ten grand. We, we try, well, how much will you 20,000 for Smelly to be a therapy dog. And it'll give you all the love that a, a, a living creature can give. That's all I have to say. Bye. <laughs> all right. Hey. Daffy. Smelly. 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 Smelly, whoever you are, Rappy. All right. So, are we rolling? All right, here's Smelly. He wants to be an army ranger like me. We're going to play army today. Because that's the game. Give me kisses. Give me a kiss, me, babe. Here, hey. yeah. Ew. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. Do you want any? Please, people, you're killing me out there. Tell somebody, please take this animal. Free training. This dog is on his step away from the needle. Or somebody else come and do the needle. Boy. I can't. Hi, babe. Hi, man. <laughs> and if anybody thinks that we've done training, this dog has been wallowing here for the last two weeks. Granted, he's been in play groups, but he's not. Let go of everything. Let's find some this, this dog a home, quick. Look at him. I want to be an army ranger. I want to live the life of danger. Sound off, one, two, three, four. Smiley! All right, I can't take this. I can't take this. I love my smelling. Okay, cut. <laughs>